In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do to get the maximum performance out of Fortnite on your PC. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the entire video so that you don't miss any steps. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, I am in Fortnite. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually on performance now. What we wanna do is we wanna switch to DX 12 or 11. Now, if you don't know which one to switch to, I can help you out real quick. Go to your Windows search and you will type DX Diag. Now it's gonna open this run command. You're gonna right click, run as administrator, allow it to open. Yes, you will hit yes on this prompt and you will look down here at DirectX version. If you are on DirectX 11, you will do 11 in Fortnite. If you are on DirectX 12, you will go to 12. Straightforward, once you're done with that, you can hit X and close out of that menu. And then what we're gonna do is hit apply. This will prompt you with the restart, hit yes. All right, so now that we're back in Fortnite, what we're gonna do is go to the config and settings, and you will go to your graphics quality. You wanna put all of this on low, and we're gonna change the resolution back up to 100, and then we are going to turn our view distance to medium. The reason you wanna have your view distance on medium is because there's no disadvantage or loss in FPS between near and medium. But in Far and Epic, you don't gain an advantage and you lose FPS. So medium's that like middle range happiness land that you wanna be in. So once you have that, you will hit apply. Now that you have applied these settings, there's a few other things you can tweak if you want the maximum performance possible. One of those is turning auto download high resolution textures and resolution texture reminders off. You can also go to your config here and you can turn off your replays so you don't have stuff running in the background. That's the same with the resolution textures. And we'll come back to that shortly after we close the game. And for the last one, you'll go to your sound tab. You wanna have your sound quality, 3D headphones, and all of your subtitles on the lowest settings possible. That way your game isn't running a ton of stuff in the background or having to optimize, prioritize things that don't actually need to be prioritized. So once you've applied all of these, we will go back to the video tab, we'll scroll to the top, and you will go to performance mode. Once you go to performance mode, you will hit apply, and again, you will be prompted to restart your game. For now, I'm actually gonna hit decline, but it's gonna keep me on performance, and you can close. I'll open it to show you I'm still on performance as you can see, and I'm actually gonna just close the game. Now, the reason I did that in that particular pattern is because I don't want Epic Games to relaunch the game. There's a few things I want you guys to change before you reopen the game in performance. One of those is you will go to your library here on your desktop, and you will either, depending on which mode you're in, you will click the three dots here, or you will click the three dots here, and then you will, I believe it is under options, Yes, you wanna make sure you have high resolution textures off. You will uncheck this and you hit apply. The reason you wanna uncheck this, it is high resolution textures are slowing your game down because it's trying to process something within the game to make it look better. You don't really want that if you're trying to get the maximum performance. So once you have that checked, you then go to your profile and settings. Now this will be posted down in the description below, but you're gonna scroll down to the bottom. Once you're at the bottom, you will select Fortnite and you will select additional command line arguments. Once you select that, this will be in the description. You wanna paste this code. Basically, it's telling your PC to use its maximum performance possible when Fortnite is running. Once you have done that, you can go back and I want you to go to the three dots again, hit manage, and you will verify your game. While your game is verifying, I have something else that you can change on your NVIDIA control panel that will actually give you a huge performance boost. What you're going to want to do is in the first tab here, adjust image settings with preview. Depending on which one you're on, just select use my preference emphasizing and then you want to drag whatever this is on and drag it to performance and then you will hit the prompt apply and it'll load apply and then for the next tab we will go to manage 3D settings and we will go down to, we're looking for low latency here, low latency. You wanna have this on ultra. The reason you want this on ultra, it's gonna make it to where you can press things and they will respond faster. And then you wanna have prefer maximum perform, uh, performance for your power management and high performance for your texture filtering. Once you have those applied, turn off your vertical V-Sync and then you'll hit apply down below and you can close this tab. Now that you guys have applied those settings, you can go ahead and open up Fortnite Make sure that in your settings you are on performance mode, that you're on full screen, your view distance is on medium, and your meshes. This is a preference. You can have this on low or high. If you put it on low, you will get a higher performance. It's not that much of an FPS boost, but it is a boost. 
I prefer to keep it on high because you can still see your opponents through the builds. So once you have all these settings applied, you guys can hit back and you can go ahead and test out Fortnite and let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and if your FPS got boosted. We'll see you in the next one. Peace guys.